गाइज वेलकम टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑन कीटर्स डायरी इट्स बिन ऑलमोस्ट टू वीक्स इंस आई पोस्टेड समथिंग फॉर यू द वीडियो वॉज रेडी बट देन आई हैव टू डू दिस पर्टिकुलर इंट्रो टू गेट द वीडियो कंप्लीटेड सो आई कैन ऑफ यू नो गॉट डिविएटेड विद अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सो आई कुडन पुट इट अप बट देन या लाइक ऑलवेज आई जस्ट प्लान टू डू डू इट राइट वे एंड गेट द वीडियो अप सो दैट यू गाइज आन जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर स्टफ एंड getting frustrated so without further ado on this video i'm going to talk to you about how to cope up with the winter in uh, st johns especially or in canada because everyone knows it's a very cold country and the winters can get really chilly and um for some people uh, like us who come from uh, tropical countries like india um it's really hard initially so i've just um you know uh, i'm running you through uh, what you need to buy for the winter and how you dress up for the winter now i'm a girl so i'm going to wear girly clothes obviously and let you know how you got to dress and for the boys you just get the boy version of that if that makes any sense um and also um if you guys are aware uh the government of canada is allowing international students to come here um so i've already added the link uh in my uh, community section of the channel so you can click that link and check if the university that you've applied to uh is in the list and if you can come to canada if the visa is granted um so i guess that's that's really exciting for all of you and fortunately man is in the list so uh looking forward to meeting all of you sometime maybe we can have a meet and greet at some point if that's going to work um and if the channel really reaches a lot of people so uh uh let me just run you through all of that so these are the number of hats i have this is all the hats i have uh i'm not trying to say that you should have 10 or 15 hats uh i'm just saying you have to have a good number of hats so that you can uh change them and wear them uh because you'll be wearing it every single day uh you can see some of them have a lining that keeps you warmer and uh like every part of your body your head gets sweaty so if you just wear one hat it's going to really stink so it's good to have uh three or four hats that you can wash periodically and uh this is my scarf collection or muffler or whatever you want to call it i have uh cloth ones cotton ones and i have the fleece ones as well uh the fleece ones might be itchy so you need to see if your skin adapts to that and these are some of the gloves that i have the thin ones uh, i usually use uh, before the snow sets in and these ones are a little fluffy and they are mittens actually so you can have all your digits together and it's warmer than the uh other ones the other gloves and this is one good jacket that i really love it's got that puffy muscle kind of uh you know uh design and it's got the fleece lining again it keeps me warm it's not the best jacket uh it's got two zips as well uh this jacket costed me like 65 dollars it's not the best and i like the the detail the fur lining in the border so that's one of my favorite designs uh, Uh, and this one is the first jacket I ever bought when I came to Canada. I got that from Blue Notes. It costed me ninety dollars. It's a really heavy jacket, and it keeps you really, really warm. Uh, and I like the detailing as well. It's got lining, and it's got the fur uh, lining on the hat as well. Uh, I mean, on the uh, hoodie. That's because uh, when you wear the hat on a snowy day, the snow won't fall on your face. That's the reason why it's got that fur lining, and it's also got this adjustment where if I sit down, um, I can you know remove the buttons and I won't tear my jacket. And you can uh, remove the fur lining completely because if you put that in the dryer, it's all going to get uh, ruined. So never put your fur lining in the dryer this one is uh, something i bought this time for fall uh, again this costed me i think 45 dollars it's a very thin jacket you can see that there's no lining as such this is another jacket i got from shein uh shein is a popular uh, website where you can uh, place order for clothes 
uh this absolutely did nothing for me like uh, i just wore it one day and i froze to death on a november month so i think i might wear it next year for fall in the early fall and this is uh, actually a gift from one of my friends uh this is a nice sports jacket but then it's thick and um you know it's uh, it keeps you warm i usually wear this if i'm going for a run or uh if i'm just out for a hike uh it's very appropriate it's got a bright color and um yeah that's it and the material is uh, waterproof so on a rainy day in new finland this is one of the best things to wear um and it's got uh you know the hoodie as well and you can adjust the hoodie uh so that's a good jacket and these are some of the sweaters that i have i have a really long sweater which is like knee length and a short sweater i'm very fond of sweaters because i was born and raised in kono so sweaters is like a part of my life and you also get sweater uh, material um uh, pu uh pullovers or hoodies um sweat shirt kind of things um that cost me just 10 dollars and this is another sweater dress that i got from shane so it's a dress that's made out of sweater material so it keeps you really warm it goes amazingly well with a nice uh, black pair of tights and a pair of boots and that's like good so this is my jacket and sweater collection i think i displayed all of it to you um just to show you that you can just neatly arrange it in your closet and that's my sweater collection uh it's always good to have around 10 to 15 sweaters honestly because uh, canada is a cold country you never know when you want to wear a sweater uh so that's about sweaters and this is a great um winter boots i got this last year from amazon uh it's from the brand camic this costed me 85 dollars i got it on sale but uh i checked it uh, last week and it comes to 150 dollars um i'm yet to use it uh, so i'm not sure if i can give a feedback right away um i'll definitely update you uh, but it looks like a great shoes winter shoes and these are just fancy winter boots or fall boots uh, it's got like a cloth lining its suede uh, material uh, i don't really like heels so this is something fancy that i can wear um you know for a party or something this one is one of my favorite boots it goes up to my knees and it keeps my legs really warm uh, even on a uh, really rough uh, snow days i've worn this and it's always um, helped me uh, get through the snowy weather because like i've always told you i walk a lot and this is just a pair of brown boots i got um so uh, basically i like to have a few uh, shoes so that i can go out and you know uh, dress up neatly So hey guys this is a normal fall day it's november so this this is how i'm dressed i'm at the park um i'm wearing a long jacket and uh, inside i am wearing a sweater and i have more layers inside as well so this is not a very warm pant as such and then i've got boots up to my knee these boots are um you know really warm inside and i have a socks as well uh on a normal day i'd wear this with uh gloves and hat if it's really cold but today the weather is okay and since i wanted to like have a nice walk in the park i'm not wearing a lot and uh, make sure that your jacket is long enough so that you feel warmer beyond your your waist area there are jackets that are longer as well and uh, it's a little expensive uh, the jackets like go up to 200 dollars for a good jacket now this was very cheap uh i just bought it like maybe for rough use or something but always invest on a good jacket like 100 to 150 dollars is a good investment on a jacket and these boots are are around 80 dollars and i think that's a good amount for good boots uh guys i hope this video was useful to you and it's november so i thought this is the most appropriate time to actually put out this video so even the new students who come into canada you can look at this video watch this video and maybe make a list of what you want to buy for the winter especially when it comes to clothing um there are much more interesting things also that you can do apart from clothing in the winter like maybe have a great cup of hot chocolate 
and uh, one of my favorite drinks from Tim's is a uh, white hot chocolate with an apple cinnamon tea bag. Uh, if you are in Canada and if you know what you love to have in the winter, put that in the comment section below. I'm excited to know what you guys do for winter. So meet you again in another interesting video soon. Bye.